Hello! Welcome everyone to the Giraffe Source Stream Everspace 1.0. That's really loud. Goodness, gravy. Here, let me tone that down. Oh, there we go. We are we are live, showcasing Everspace version 1.0. So greetings and welcome to everyone from all corners of the internet. I want to jump right into this. I hope you all don't mind that either. Um, I'm going to pull up some little cheat sheet stuff that I've got going on real quick like and we're gonna do this <sighs> oh whoops I forgot to reset my game don't mind this sweet looking graphic right there we'll, we'll get to that in a bit <laughs> <laughs> all right game reset game cleared awesome so if you just had questions about what you just saw there were Kickstarter rewards during this uh, wonderful backingness that was going on. There's also localization now, so we can uh, pretend like we know any of these other languages and try the game that way, but we're not going to do that. That would be ridiculous. The main thing to know is that this is the completed 1.0. So, the very start of the game, uh, it is preferred that you do a reset uh, you don't have to, so if you have previously played Everspace and you're diving in, you can keep all of your data. You just say, I don't want to lose it. And the game's like, okay, that's fine. And it will progress normally. But I want a clean wipe. And we're going to try and defeat the game in our first run. It's going to be a challenge. I think we can do it. This is, this is going to be our attempt. So we've got a little bit of tutorial here. Oh. Something's not right with me. I'm having memory loops. There was a dispute. I was standing in the way of their plans. I was restrained. Shot with something. Who is this? I managed to escape. That's all I can remember. I must find some answers. Pilot requires further training. Activating automatic assistance. Stand by. Uh, assistance? I suppose I could use some pointers. All right, so here we are in the tutorial. Let's begin by shooting targets. Well, that seems easy enough. We're going to go this, through this pretty quick so we can get to the main game, but I do want to show the what's available. Have shields. First, use the pulse laser to deplete their shields. When the shields are down, use the Gatling gun to inflict greater hull damage. Okay, understood. That was kind of funny. They both warped in on the same location, and so they destroyed themselves. But, uh, what this tutorial is showing you is that there are two different types of weapons. Uh, primarily your laser destroying, or your shield destroying, and your hull destroying. So you'll want to switch between your pulse laser and your Gatling gun. Now, for some people uh, who may have caught this, uh, normally the pulse laser is blue, and there's not a KS on it. That KS stands for Kickstarter. This is a Kickstarter exclusive upgrade to the pulse laser. Now when I say upgrade, it's very, very minor. Um, so it's not like it gives you a super crazy uh, bonus, but if you see here, it talks about how it's a Space Warrior thank you. But the main difference here is that the range is 300 meters longer and the energy consumption is 0.67 seconds less. So you can use it longer and it fires a little bit further than the standard pulse laser. All the hull and shield DPS is exactly the same, fire rate's the same. Um, missiles on the next targets. But it is... Set a target lock before shooting so the missiles can home in. It is green, it does this cool little effect now. Um, you can see those circle little trails that it leaves. That's the pulse laser KS. The regular pulse laser is just a blue little beam, so that's kind of neato. Firing missiles with the right mouse button. 
Easy peasy the lemon squeezy. Ready for the next stage. I have created a jump target. Aim towards it and hold steady to leave the orbit. After each transit, your jump drive requires a cooling down phase. As soon as it is ready for another jump, I will create one. And each jump consumes fuel, which we'll also learn about in the next area. You just point to these. Actually, here's a fun little fact. If you don't like maintaining your mouse cursor there because you drift away like this, when you're pointing towards it, you can hit tab to go to this menu. And when you hit tab again, you are automatically centralized so you're not moving around. It's kind of like an auto lock on, if you will. So just like double tap the tab key and away you go. So moving on to the next area, another tutorial. We're going to get some fuel. As you can see from your fuel gauge, a substantial amount was consumed during transit. You should aim to refill the jump drive completely. There is a mineable asteroid nearby. Shoot at it to extract fuel. No. <clears throat> that should do it. Remaining well provisioned is key to survival in the cluster. Before leaving the orbit, it is recommended you explore the location for resources. Look at all that fuel. That's a crazy amount of fuel. Anyway, the fuel is used to keep jumping. Oh, there's some stream lag. Is everybody getting some stream lag? I apologize for that. I have located a container at some distance. Ah, resources. And a weapon. We are going to salvage this beam laser. But you don't have a free slot to install it. Decide for yourself whether you want to equip or salvage it. Actually, I should have mentioned right there. There is an outlaw ship incoming. I would advise activating your weapon overdrive in order to prepare for the encounter. With uh, finding new items in space, there's the ability to check out what you're, you currently have versus what you found. So you can decide if you want to hang on to it. Resources are essential for crafting and upgrading your equipment. It appears, however, that we have exhausted our possibilities here. I suggest advancing to the next location. Um, but if you don't want to hang on to it and swap it out with something that you currently have, you can salvage it for a couple parts. I'm going to check the stream lag real quick like, so one moment. I'm going to look at this. Uh, it looks like everything's good on my end. So if there's continued lag, please inform me and I will see what I can do over here. But otherwise, I'm going to start talking a little bit about what's new in the game. You're going to see a couple other little pop-ups about like energy usage, which should be the, should be the first one here. Um, and what's my objective? Reaching your destination. And where is that? It's still a long way to go. You'll understand more when we get there. I would prefer some more substance to your answers. Alright, so here's energy. Basically, whenever you're firing or when you're using your boost in your ship, you are using energy. And your energy is, uh, I'm going to point at it, it's going to be hard to see, but there's this energy bar right here. We'll look at it in game. It's directly under the crosshairs. And um, you can kind of see it right there, that big old yellow line. Whenever you are firing or boosting, it's draining that, and whenever you stop, it's recharging it. When you are not moving at all, it charges much faster. The orange on the right is allocated energy for passive devices. So in the case of our ship right now, we have one passive device, which is our shield. Right here it says energy allocation 12. So 12 of our total energy, which is... Uh, 100, 12 out of 100 is being used simply for the shield to be functional. Stuff like this, this is an active device. So if I want to use this, it will consume 30 energy at that point immediately. So if I have less than 30 energy, I actually won't be able to use it. So it's a timing thing. We're going to salvage most of this stuff. Okay, so here, I'm going to take a moment. You can see here that we see both of our equipped devices. And this is the new one that we have. So we have uh, three options at this juncture. We can salvage what's here. 
we can swap it out for something over here, like say I wanted the adaptive armor instead of the weapon overdrive. Suddenly I've got this equipped, and this is now in space. And then I salvage whatever one is in space. So if I hit salvage now, the weapon overdrive is gone. If I want the adaptive armor and salvage that, um, then it's going to be gone. I'll keep the weapon overdrive. Or I can back out and just leave it floating in space. I don't need the armor, so I'm just going to scrap it. And all of these different resources will be useful in crafting, which I don't have a lot of uh, at the moment because blueprints are unlocked through the game. Yes, Neff, that is exactly why the part of the bar is red. That is allocated energy that I cannot use uh, because it's passively being used to function the shields. That's just what I need. A little surprised that uh, the Hive, which is the onboard computer, didn't tell me a little bit about the Ocker there, but or the Ocar, excuse me. Um, but uh, it's okay. Your vessel harvests plasma automatically when you are near. That's convenient. All right, here we go. So now we've collected enough resources where we can actually do something with the things that we've gathered. So whenever uh, a certain point gets reached, you might have seen it on the screen. There was like a message up here that said one new craftable or two new craftable. I don't actually know what it was, but in the sake of our like weapons, all you can do is upgrade them with um, certain mods. And I'll take a very brief moment to talk a little bit about a change in version 1.0 here. All of the weapon mods, every single one of them, has had the energy requirements for upgrading decreased. So what that means is instead of them be more like adjusting the weapon so that you have to spend more energy to fire more power or, or take out shields faster or have a faster fire rate, now it's just a straight freaking upgrade. You spend resources, you get a bonus. There's no extra repercussion of using energy. A great little change. Absolutely fantastic. Um, other upgrades are going to be like, um, oops, like for the shield, you have the shield capacity, which will uh, make this consume more passive energy, but you have, I mean, more shields. So it's fantastic. Um, craftable, I don't even know what I can craft. Oh, light missiles. Okay, so I have enough resources to craft more missiles. Excellent. Oh, yes, and Patrick, you actually caught another addition Audible to the game. There are... Um, there are screams from your enemy uh, whenever you are taking them out now. They're very subtle, so it's... You have extracted raw materials. These are essential for crafting and upgrading, but you will require much more. It's nothing crazy, but there it adds a little bit of an extra layer of, I guess, realism um, to the fact that they are quote-unquote living creatures. And thanks for dropping the information, MRNOX123. I really appreciate you helping out informing the chat. There's a lot to talk about. No missile. No missile. Hostiles are targeting us. Hey, hey, hey. Alright. Starting at the very beginning of the game, you don't have a lot of energy, so you kind of have to make do with what you got. Whew, that was quick. So, another quick change. So, if you're familiar with the previous version of Everspace, one of the first craftables you had was the scanning probe. This is gone from the game, and it is so much of an improvement for the game to have removed this. Because of the scanning probe, players were getting into this mindset of, I have to enter into the space, 
craft a scanning probe, and then follow the markers to gather everything before I go to the next area. It was far less of exploring the area, and far more of getting your hand held and being walked on a tour through the area you were in, and this was not the intention of the developers. As such, the scanning probe is now gone. However, if you still want to put more emphasis on your exploration, there are those means available. There is a consumable that is a drone that now will increase your scanning capacity, your sensor strength, by 200%. So that means your sensor strength here would be increased to 300%. You're going to be able to see a lot of stuff simply by having this drone out. If that's not enough, there's a device now called a sensor relay has three different marks. Each mark gives you approximately 20% boost passively. So even without a drone flying around you, you can have up to 120% extra from that device alone. So putting that all together, that means your extra sensor strength, I believe, is going to be approximately 420% if you had all of that available. You'd be able to see a lot of stuff just by getting even somewhat close. Also, communication hubs, like what I just scanned there, are far more valuable to find in this game, because now that I scanned it, I can see everything. As Hacking com hubs has its benefits. Thank you, Hive. I completely agree. So, finding a com hub actually has value now, and before, it really kind of didn't. When you found him, it was like, oh, I already used a scanning probe, you or... The attention of hostiles. Oops, that was... that was bad. Just ran right into the side of that wall, no big deal. We'll buff out those scratches. Alright, get in over our heads. One second. Alright. Darn missile launchers. Alright, nanobots! Woot! Alright, is anybody else having any bad lag? I just want to check with everyone. Make sure you are experiencing the stream in the highest capability possible. Oh yes, thank you for that point, MRNOX123. Can I call you MRNX123, or is, is it like Mrox? Mrox? <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce your name. Oh, story of my life. I'm so sorry. Uh, but yes, uh, that is a very good point. So um, the sensor drone, even though it has the greatest boost, because it is floating about, it can be destroyed. So you kind of have to play... Uh, a little bit of a protect game. Mr. Knox, I like it. Of course, because it's MR Knox. That's so <laughs> obvious. <laughs> Excellent. All right, we're completing the end of Sector 1 here. This is basically telling us to use that jump gate in the background. Jump gates are the primary method of travel between systems. These were built by Greedy and Brunt Prospects for their mining drones to reach areas more efficiently. Okay, thanks for the introduction. Now you want me to use this? It is the only way to the next sector, so, yes. Oh, there's got to be something over here. Um, first let's tackle these dudes. Outlaws. Independent operators with varying affiliations profiting from trafficking, extortion, illegal weapons trading, piracy, clone smuggling, Maybe they have something I need. Another enemy? Alright. Um, 
So something that might not be super apparent that I am doing in combat, this is kind of a little tip and trick for you all, is that when you're flying, you have a little bit of control over the movement of your ship, up, down, left, and right, and you can pair these to go upwards, down, corners, all that type of stuff. Destruction is breathtaking. Hostilities only ceased when resources were exhausted, forcing both sides to the negotiating table. A demilitarized zone was created as a buffer zone, monitored by the Oka authorities. Only time will heal the rift between the species. There anything? Aha, there's the thing. See? That exploration feels good. I just went in here and I found... Oh, yeah. All these credits. That's how exploration is supposed to feel. You find it. You're not told to find it. Ah. So much more sad. Oh, look at those light effects. Mm. Oh, yeah. This is dandy. Alright. Obvious things now obvious. Oh, excellent. What am I picking up on the broadcast channel? Here we go. The Okar are a reptilian race with a tendency towards reactive behavior. They are indigenous to the cluster. And the hmm. Drone override's pretty good. We're gonna swap this out. Colonials uninvited guests. Distrust runs deep. Didn't really see any other, any other spots I can truly explore. Other than over there, I think there's some plasma. Is that a trading ship? Apparently so. Quite fortuitous to encounter one in these parts. Anything of value here? Uh, About nah. time. So traders can offer a random assortment of goods, anything from weapons to devices to consumables, and will offer you um, credits, resources, whatever you possibly could want for an exchange of credits, resources, and stuff of that nature. So if you have collected way too much of a certain resource and you see that you can trade it in for a different resource that's more rare, it's a really powerful option. Here's an outlaw platform. Excellent. More missiles. Oops. Man, my driving is not on point today. That's okay. We got 16 out of 20 nanobots. If you look in the upper left corner under my slightly damaged hole, that's what's going on there. Oh yeah, HUD view! We HUD view! Yay, pretty... Wait. Assets load. Thank you. Alright. That's much better. Oh, that's just... That's pretty. Don't mind the fact that my head is rotating all the way around. I do this every day, all day. Alright. Story time! Strange. Fragments of memories trying to make sense of them. I had managed to escape. I was weak and ill. My cells were deteriorating. A deadly poison. A cytotoxin. A slow, relentless, eating me away. There was a way to halt its progress, but it would take time. All I could do was set the wheels in motion. And await the outcome in stasis. A long, uncertain sleep. More story. I saw myself again. Dying. This must be a memory from your original. Apparently a flaw in the transference protocol. The Eterna system was meant to filter such personal recollections. Wait, what are you saying? My original? I'm a... A clone, yes. Usually this is not realized by limited use copies. The function of Eterna was to pass on operational skills, such as piloting. But it seems that something has gone wrong. Stop. This is a lot to take on board all at once. Why is this happening? Who am I? Who is my original? I have no information on that. 
Perhaps there is a purpose to this aberration which will become clear upon reaching the coordinates given. I have no answers, unfortunately, but I am as curious as you are. You know, there were moments there I was worried. The odds were certainly against you. Mr. Knox, that is absolutely correct. So, um, he stated that there's a credit bonus now for reaching every new sector, and that is the case. Uh, depending on which difficulty you are on, I believe it's even higher or lower, if I'm not mistaken. Um, on easy mode, I think it's 500 bonus credits. Normal, it's 800, and hard, it's 1,000? I think? I'm pretty sure. Maybe I'm wrong. I haven't, uh, haven't checked that out specifically, but, um, but yeah, it's nice. So every progressive sector, you just get a little credit bonus. Um, but yeah, how about that story though, right? We're discovering that we're a clone right now, even though we kind of knew that um, from early access. But the uh, there's this context this behind it. Brady and Brunt prospects. Corporate Beamoth and sole legitimate operator in the demilitarized zone. Their monopoly has ensured unchecked expansion. You will encounter their jump gates and mining drones frequently. So, with the story, we are discovering that we are a clone, but we were made flawed. Why does this vessel appear with a skull? This is to highlight a superior fighter. It will be harder to take down. <laughs> we'll have to see about that. Hmm, don't have any access keys. But, um, but yeah, so you're discovering that you are a clone, you're discovering that there's a flaw in the system. Essentially, you weren't supposed to have your memories from before, but for some reason you do. At least parts of memories, which keep coming back to you. We'll have to see how that develops. In the meantime, check out this. This is a colonial derelict station. This has been in the game before, but there have been some adjustments to them. Unfortunately... This is a former colonial station. Oh. Abandoned as a wreck following the war with the Oka. Excellent. Will I find anything interesting inside? Probably. It is a possibility. However, my scanners indicate that some systems are still online, including the security protocols. That's fine. I knew it. Nothing comes for free. Alright, so we got a couple little freebies, but the big items are like that. So if you read that, it says special tech container. Those drop guaranteed enhanced weaponry, if it drops weaponry, or they just drop three or more items that are all really, really good. So you want to use access keys now whenever you get to these wonderful derelict stations. Because I'm poor and um, don't have any access keys, it looks like I'm going to be locked out of here. Um, we'll see what we can do, though. Ow, 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 ow. Hey. Yeah, that's another special tech container. And I got some Shotgun drones, close quarters, pretty deadly. Another turret. Okay, so we're all fueled up. Man, if we had some access keys, we would be just getting all the things here. Unfortunately, we cannot. We could attempt to take out this elite GMB fighter. He has a 40% chance to drop a key. Um, all elites do, actually. Um, or we need to get out of dodge, because the Ankar are pursuing us. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. Now, later as you develop your perks, which are the permanent progression of Everspace, you will have the ability to see more of what's going on here in this sector map. Right now it says, upgrade the se scanner sector perk to reveal threat levels. And you can see more than just threat levels. You'll see uh, the location of traders. You'll see the location of, um, of um, service stations. Lots of little details, hazards, um, so that you what can- happened here? What you see around you is the remnants of the conflict between the Colonials and the Okar. 
The first contact led to an escalating series of misunderstandings. Let's just put it at that. I see. Lightning in space? How? Uh, lightning in space? How? Magnetic fields causing friction. An anomaly. But quite visually striking. Mm, yes. It appears we have stumbled upon an outlaw base. Scavengers and raiders of every degree Ooh. apply the demilitarized zone using these hidden structures to launch operations. I would advise caution on approach. Maybe it's worth the risk. Ooh, eh. So, this is a... Uh, oh, ooh, mm, tempting. Oh. You know what, we're gonna we're gonna show off some new weapons. We're gonna swap it out. This might not be a most optimized run, but we're still going for still going for run one completion. You are acquiring a taste for castoffs, by the looks of things. Oop, too close to that mine. Thankfully somebody duct taped a bunch of lights onto the mines in the area, so you can see them from a distance. Another drone override. Hmm. Maybe you start using those. Well, actually, Patrick, um, the explanation as to why the Colonials are chasing us hasn't been revealed yet. But we know that from the common lore of the game that the reason why the Okar are chasing us around is because we're actually in their cluster. Um, cluster 34, I think is what this is. This is the Beltagrades. Um, this is the property of the Okar. And the Colonials showed up and... The Okar were all like, um, GTFO, and not good things happened, as you can see from all of this wreckage. Uh, this is the remnants of that war that transpired. Since that point, um, they have found a treaty between the two, and there is kind of a shaky alliance right now between the two factions. Um, but it was not that long ago meaning that the reason why we're finding all of this loot and destruction in this area is because this is the remnants of the war itself and it's scattered all over the place man i just oh i love look at just look at this scenery just take a moment breathe this in Oh, goodness, it's just gorgeous. Alright. Plasma? Not plasma. Uh, where have I been exploring? Explored that, explored that. Okay. Next area. It's a great question, Patrick. We'll have to find out. <laughs> Gradient Brunt managed to get the only contract in the DMZ. They were first on the scene due to their extensive jump gate infrastructure. So far as their monopoly is concerned, their close working relationship with the colonial fleet was undoubtedly a factor. So the GMB are these guys. They are a mining corporation, and the reason why they are loitering in the demilitarized zone is because they're basically scavenging it for all kinds of resources and they had some sort of pact with the colonials in order to still be here and the o Okar are okay with it which is why they're not inherently at war with one another in this area this will enhance your weapon damage considering yeah, we're not I like the sound of that I'm just gonna use some missiles here make this a little bit easier there we go <laughs> Neff, that's perfect. We dropped our wallet, the clone was like, Hey, I have your wallet. And as a player character, I keep running from them, because I'm like, That's not my wallet. <laughs> Hello, Sir Wang Time. Good to see you in chat.
And yes, Patrick, I um, I've been working a little bit, <coughs> working a little bit with Rockfish Games um, to ensure that the game is up to the quality standards that they wanted it to reach. And as such, I have experienced most, if not all, of this game in its current iteration as 1.0. So I do know all the sweet little details. I'm not going to spoil those for you, though. That's why we're playing through the game, so you can see it for yourself. And also it provides me with a challenge to see if I can complete it in one run. So here's hoping we can do both. Ah, oh, good. Outlaws. GMB will gladly jump in to attack these guys because outlaws threaten their mining operations. Alright. I think we explored this area well enough. I think we're probably just going to keep moving. We're getting a little bit low on fuel. I'm not worried about it. If things get dire, we'll, uh... We'll kindly take some from the G&B. <laughs> <laughs> now, mechanically, Everspace is a roguelike, and I want to briefly talk about what that is for newcomers to the game. Simply because a lot of people think that this is supposed to be some type of, like, open-world space simulation, and that is entirely false. That could not be further from the truth, in fact. Um, it's not open-world. Every location, as you might have seen, has been very small, something that you can fly around and explore somewhat easily, um, but it's randomized every time, procedurally generated. So instead of going through the same space after the same space, or same level after same level, like a, I don't know, Mario Brothers, if you will, like level 1-1, one, one, then level 1-2, you don't do that. You go to level 1-1, one, one, and then the next time you play, you go to level 1-7. And you're like, wait, what? I don't remember this, because you haven't seen it yet. through that procedural generation, you have one life to make it all the way to the end of each sector, up to seven sectors, to, uh, to complete your run. Oh, service station. Do you know what happens at a serving station? This is a service station. Do you know what happens in a service station? I thought I asked the questions here. Do you? Um, refuel? Trade parts? You're learning. I don't typically like to spend credits, and I'm not going to. <laughs> Alright, we are going to be greedy, and we're going to procure these items from the GMB. They're going to get really upset with us, but we're going to head straight for that jump gate. So we're going to start on this side. We're going to move our way up. Hopefully we don't do something foolish or dumb. Oh, good, we found some nanobots. That's excellent. All right, see you later. Goodbye, thank you. Friendship, friendship. All right, cool. My memories are not my own. They are copies. They originate from someone else. It was at the Fleet Academy. His name was Adam. Adam Rosslyn. Quiet, reserved, awkward around the others. He had a friend, Seth. They shared a dorm. Basic training was tough. Seth looked out for Adam. He stood up for him. The brains and the brawn. They became close, like a team. And then the orders came. Deployment for war against the Okar. I had another vision. I think 
I know my name. Adam. Adam Rosslyn. Interesting. Do you have any information on that name? I do not. But this level of cognizance in a clone is highly unusual. I would like to help you learn more in order to understand how this happened. Let's find some answers. swapping out for a flat cannon. That's that's too good. Flat cannon is an area of effect attack weapon. So it might seem like it's kind of slower and a lot more inaccurate because that's true. And it does actually a little bit less damage as well. But when you're shooting it at say drones, it's really easy to connect with them and it normally takes them out in one or two hits or so. It's a really nice weapon. Also costs more energy though, so to play it a little bit more safe around here. Yay, com hubs. Super powerful now. But yeah, so we're discovering that our name, or at least rather the original's name, was Adam Rosslin. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, so, something else to point out, uh, just really briefly, this happened in the last area that we were in, but uh, we had a little bit of damage to the ship. I haven't repaired at all. But whenever you pick up nanobots and you are maxed out, which I am at 20 out of 20, those extra nanobots restore your hold. So if you are a hoarder of nanobots, like myself, it will still heal you when you are full up. It's kind of nice. And I'm kind of speeding through this a little quickly, kind of talking about a couple things here and there. Does anybody have any questions about the mechanics of the game, the story of the game, anything that I might be able to help clarify uh, at this point in time? that, but that's okay. Look at that fuel. Goodness. Result. There are other ships that we can use. There are three playable ships. Um, this, since this is the very first run, we haven't even been able to go to the hangar yet. I know that you saw the hangar at the very beginning. That was because I hadn't restarted my save file. Um, so hopefully that didn't throw you off. Uh, but there will be cool Kickstarter things to show you when we get to that hangar. Um, but yeah, so this is one of three ships. This is the Colonial Interceptor that we are piloting. And it is Colonial. Um, and hopefully you're kind of making some connections with the story. Like, as a clone, we were put into a colonial ship. Um, maybe it's because that's all that was available. Maybe it's because we're working for the colonials. Maybe there's an extra story there that we need to uh, find out about. Mm, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, so, yeah. Oh! Story time. There is a colonial heavy fighter leaving hyperspace in front of us. Be aware. Okay, thanks for the warning. He has a jump suppressor. This does not bode well. Who would have thought that outlaws make such good informers? But they were right. You're still alive. I'm not sure we've been introduced. What you did was unnecessary. Destroying it all. How could you? After all the efforts we put into our plans, you betrayed me. Listen, I think you have the wrong man. I don't want any trouble. I don't play the fool. I hate to do this, but I can't let you get away with this, Adam. Adam? Wait. I've seen you before. You... Your name is Seth. What do you take me for? You can drop the amnesia act. 
It's time for you to pay. The Seth guy. I remember him vaguely. Friends, weren't we? Why did he try to kill me? It should not come as a surprise that most people want to kill you. Only that this one was rather talkative. Talkative? He accused me of something I did and I can't remember. What have I done? Who am I? Damn you, Adam! This isn't over yet! Now that was a curious encounter. Alright. Whew. Very good. So. Um, Mr. Knox, after completion of one run, will there be more story to discover? Yes, absolutely. If somehow you miraculously were to beat this full experience in the first run, you don't get all of the story yet. In fact, after completing the first run, the first Sector 7, there's going to be a couple new components added to the next runs. I'm not going to spoil those things, because they are really freaking cool. Oh my gosh, I, I'm really excited to get to that point. Hopefully I can show you either in this stream or in the next one that will be streaming tonight at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, so, yeah. Ooh, this is... Ooh, that, that energy consumption, though, that is a big concern. I'm going to have to... going to have to scrap it. But yeah, so Seth Nobu, he was my friend, right? Remember that from the from the flashback? And all of a sudden he's like, You betrayed me, Adam, blah blah blah. What? How did I bet what? What did I what did I do? I didn't do nothing. Besides, I'm not really Adam, I'm a clone. But he doesn't know that. He thinks I'm Adam. This is crazy, what's happening? <laughs> Kinda wish I would have kept that Gatley gun or scatter gun now. All right. So here's a fun little fact. This might look a little familiar because this is the same asset that was used in the previous Sector 7 ending. This is where you dropped off the AR cores. Look at that. Oh. Reused assets are wonderful. All right, this area, since the sensors are impaired, it's going to make it real difficult to find more stuff. So we might be best... Ooh, we're going to explore that, though. Um, we're also going to stay quite far away from that little black spot. Oh, there's another thing over there. Oh, my goodness. We got all the things. See how much reward for your endeavors. We'll see how much time we have here to explore. Um, one of the functionalities of these space clouds that we're in is meant to give you unlimited time to explore. Um, I think that there is currently a glitch or a bug, excuse me, a bug um, at the moment. More shoot, more loot. Um, so that when you are in these areas, you don't actually get an infinite amount of time. Um, that will be patched out because that's not intentional. So, sorry about that, if any of you experience that. Um, but otherwise... Ooh, that... Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's not get too close. No, no, not too close. The opposite of what I just said. Alright. Funny looking portal satellite. <laughs> yeah. Oh, where's the enemy? Where's the enemy? I don't see no enemy. Oh. There we go. Man, so many nanobots. This game is being awfully generous to my first run. Normally it's, uh, it can be kind of tricky finding nanobots. Um, so that's why I say what I do. Not seeing anything in here. Oh, oh. The sensor impairment um, also reduces the range of your sensors while you're in here. I think it's 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 quite a lot too. It's like uh, where are you come from? Oh, you're behind me. Okay. Um, it reduces the sensors by probably 
easily 50%, but probably more like 80%, so it's really hard to see in these areas. Mr. Knox, that's a great question. Um, I know that uh, Andy stayed up pretty late. Uh, they arrived at Cluster 34 into a cauldron of hellfire. A war of unprecedented intensity. Seth Nobu was an ace fighter, earning his badges quickly in combat. Adam Rosslyn was on the same carrier, cloning new troops for the front. The war was mutually devastating, but mercifully short. With an armistice, the fleet had to withdraw but some wanted to stay behind for the spoils, new opportunities. Seth Nobu was among this group. Adam Rosslyn went with the fleet. Complying with the peace conditions, his cloning program was dissolved. This Seth Nobu, he was a friend. In which case, next time you could perhaps convince him not to shoot at us. If only I knew what my original did to make him so angry. What did he mean by betrayal? It appears that you must navigate Adam Rosalind's past in order to find the answers. I just need to put the pieces together. Okay. Two elite fighters. We used a drone override. Which means... The drones that were previously fighting us are now aiding us in battle. Which is a good thing because we're outgunned. Come on. Oh, one more hit. Got him. Man, we got two access keys out of that. And we got a, a combat Alex, drone. Better value by weight. Stood your ground there. Whew. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, this is a tricky call because jump stabilizer could prove invaluable if we manage to survive later. We are going to swap this for the shield booster. That's what we're going to do. Um, so, a little bit more story. Hope you're all enjoying the story. I really, I really think that the team did a pretty good job putting together all of these components. Yes, Defoe, the model for Defoe is Seth Nobu. Ouch, that was mine. I'm not seeing any containers in here. Gosh, exploring feels so righteous. Oh, look, look. Oh, we found a container. Feels so good. Mm. 104 credits. I like it. Oh, those are mines. That was another mine. Okay. Whoa. I shouldn't be flying through these mines. My combat drone might hit one. It'll just be gone. So it looks like um, we're actually at, we're actually a pretty good part where um, I'm going to. Ah, oh, we missed that scrap. That's okay. We're gonna explore this area. We're gonna warp out of this, and we're gonna take just like a five-minute break with the stream. I'm gonna go get some water. I implore you all to do the same, stay hydrated and all of that fun stuff and such. Grab some fuel from this derelict mining operation. And take the gas too. Doesn't look like there's much in here. Poke around maybe a little bit longer. Oops. Yeah, I don't see anything. Alright. So we're going to warp out here.
so we're going to take a momentary break right here. Um, I'm going to, uh, I have a little screen. Look, look, everyone, look. Oh, yeah, isn't that sweet? All right, so we're going to take a momentary break. Um, I'll be back in about five minutes, and we will resume. So uh, prep your questions. I'll be answering those all the stream, and let's have a conversation. See you in a moment. Oh, I forgot to keep the music on while I was gone. Pfft. How inconsiderate of me. Anyway, I'm back. <laughs> Let's get back into this, shall we? Oh, water is delicious. Have you had your water today? Are you staying hydrated? It is very important that you do so. So if you have not gotten up, gotten a beverage, use the restroom, said hello to your neighbor, given a compliment to someone today. I implore you to go out, do that, take the time, and then return, sit down, take part in this stream where we go on an adventure through the rest of Sector 3. Here we go. Oh, Mr. Knox, no, sure no. That's here. totally... Allow your general sense of amazement to distract you from the more pertinent dangers. Are we any closer to our destination? Our objective will oh be reached in due course. Gosh. Clearing our path there is our primary current concern. Oh, we need to get here for us fast. Okay, so, quick break. <laughs> so, uh, Mr. Knox, your question. I did not mean to scale over that. That is a very important question. Um, I know that they were working on some Mac fixes in particular, and I know that there's kind of an approval process for Microsoft to accept the... Um, the Windows Store publishing. So, it might be one of those things where they're just pending at the moment. Um, I can double check with them. It'll have to be later after the stream. Um, but uh, for to, to answer your question, it's probably still in an approval process. It should be out very soon. The full intent was to release all platforms at the time, at the delivery time. So, uh, so yeah, so hopefully that gives you a better sense of what's going on. Oh boy, here we go. This, this, this might be our death. Unless you want to experience being turned inside out. So, nice mental image, thanks. so what we're going to be trying to do here, we've got an elite outlaw and an elite awker. They don't like each other. We're going to hopefully see them fight each other just like that. Um, we need to get some drone overrides going on. All right. Ugh. All right. Anyway. Okay. Just focus on each other. Don't mind me, I'm just 
Shooting you from afar. We need some missiles. Oh my gosh. Beautiful missiles are beautiful. Alright. We're also going to need some more energy. Energy injector. Boom. Quit, quit shooting at me. We're friends. We're not really friends. Okay, he destroyed the other elite, which dropped an access key, which is awesome and wonderful. Uh, Alright, we're going to just do what we know well, and that's just shoot missiles. A lot of freaking missiles. We're going heavy missiles now. He should do quite a bit of damage, even though it is an elite. Oh, I should have used a damage booster if we have one. No, we don't. No, oh, don't you dare get away. Ha ha! Victory is mine. And another access key. All right, so. Ocker, I'm going to let you finish. Take these, thank you. All right. Okay. Things have swung in my favor. Whew. I like that one. That, I'll add it to my list. That they have. Look look at all these access keys. We got four access keys. We are ready to drop it. We are ready to get the the game on here. This is great. Let's find a derelict. And then we're oh my goodness, look at all these goodies. Nice shipwrecks. What are they? Colonial fleet warships overwhelmed by Okar fighters during the war. You will find such wrecks scattered throughout the demilitarized zone. You cannot possibly tell me that this exploration is not rewarding now. <laughs> this is just wonderful. Oh, this is so great. Yeah, no problem, Mr. Knox. And again, if you, anyone has any more questions regarding, well, anything, uh, shoot them my way and I'll see see what I can do. Um, I will be talking with the developers a little bit today and um, I, I can ask them all sorts of questions and I'll probably bring those questions either directly to you if I can find you somewhere on the internet or in my stream later this evening after this morning stream. Um, yeah. This cost was a squeeze of the trigger. Except it was just worthless nanobots, because I'm all filled up. I shouldn't say worthless. Nanobots are pretty invaluable. Alright, we're gonna... Oh, there's a platform over there. Let's go. Let's do it. Whew. You cannot get containers in containers. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's really meta. But no, you can't do that. That reminds me of the chocolate episode of Spongebob, the one where they're like entrepreneurs and they have the velvet lined chocolate carrying cases and then they purchase more carrying cases for their carrying cases. <laughs> oh, this was, this is a new addition right here. Um, so in the, so now you can have these containers that drop gas as well. And here's a here's a little freighter wreck. We're going to scan this bad boy. Captain Alan E. Espen... Uh, Espesan... Espe I'm super white. I am butchering that name. <laughs> Sorry. Anywho, I'm going to leave this up on the screen just for a moment. If you'd like to pause and read through it, you can. We're going to continue through this game. Um, I do implore you... <laughs> it's kind of sounds kind of counterintuitive, but I do implore you to read those lores, because those were written by Kickstarter backers, and some of them are pretty freaking cool. So, uh, so yeah. Definitely take the time to read it. Um, unlike me. And, uh, I also know that there's a discussion on the forums, um, about having those... A most sought after piece of artillery. Yes! This is a lucky find. Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh, we got an Arc 9000. That's fantastic. Anyway, so, um. So, don't get sucked into the black hole, please. Alright, thank you. So, um, I don't even remember what I was talking about. I got so excited right there. Getting an Arc 9000. Anyway, uh, 
Derek Yong, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. I do apologize if I butchered it. Um, how to get the Pulse Later KS. This is Kickstarter. There was a Kickstarter for Everspace approximately two years ago that when appropriately backed at the right tiers, you were given certain exclusives. The Pulse Laser KS is a very slightly enhanced version of the Pulse Laser, and I'm talking very slightly. The range is 300 meters more, and the energy consumption is 0.67 per second less. That's it. All the whole DPS, shield DPS, every, the fire rate, everything else the same, the spread's the same, everything. It's just a, a little bit of a boost for being a Kickstarter patron. Uh, it also is green instead of blue. And has a little bit of a different sound effect paired with it as well. Okay, gotta go into game mode here. Um, I will be showing off another Kickstarter exclusive af at the end of this run, whether it's at the end of this, uh, during this stream, or in the next stream, which will be later today. It'll be eight hours, uh, or excuse me, it'll be 12 hours after this stream. Um, so if you want to subscribe to my channel, then you will see that populate later. You can set a reminder, all of that fun stuff. If you're not interested, I totally understand. My channel is primarily Everspace. Uh, I will also be dropping some content videos regarding some tips and tricks, stuff like that. It'll be a dandy good time. Not particularly sure if we need to purchase fuel, so we're just gonna... Should we jack their stuff? Oh, they have three items over here. It's so tempting. First, we're gonna take out the real threats. And we're gonna explore that mess. That looks that looks like a mess and a half. We're also gonna explore the derelict. Actually, we're gonna explore the derelict first. It's important. Well, that was dumb. Didn't you know all units in the direct vicinity will react negatively if you attack one? I can see that now. Thanks. Oops. Um, so what just happened there is that there was this turret. And like I said, the f flat cannon does splash damage, and I just destroyed that. So now GMB is upset with me. So we're gonna procure these now. Okay. Hi, Shuzan. Good to see you joining. Shuzan is another forum moderator for the Everspace forums. He's also a really super cool dude who knows the developers as well, so if you want the lowdown, he can help answer questions as well. He's he's awesome. So welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining us. Still in my run number one. Hmm, tempting change. I think we're going to swap. Maybe? Mm, nope, salvage. Hello from Russia. Hello, uh, the, I'm so bad with <laughs> names. <laughs> Hello, Vladimir. I'm gonna. St I hope that's correct. Nice to have you join. We've got company. Use now. Get some energy back. Uh, I would want to remind everybody that I am a. I am somewhat close to the developers as well as shoes on. So if you have questions about Everspace, now is the time to ask, because we can load you up on all the details. Anything that you see in the game, we can talk about. Um, actually, anything you don't see in the game, you can talk about. But I'm refraining from spoilers until we at least get there first, because that's just how I roll. We have three access keys? Yeah, so we're doing this. Getting all the loot. All of it. So many mines. Okay, so here's a special tech container. This is gonna be this is gonna be dandy. So this is gonna drop. Oh, look at that. Oh, so this is a new item. Um, this is the sensor relay. This increases the range of your ship sensor by using uh, by allocating energy towards it. We're not gonna use it because we actually need the weapon overdrive. Oh my gosh, we got another arc. Oh, we don't have any room. So uh, that's another change, actually, to the from version 0.7 to 1.0. You can only hold one arc at a time. So we're straight up salvaging this for some dark energy. Ooh. I'm going to 
salvage that as well. Weapon overdrive, too good. At least I think so. And that's everything in here. Just gonna go out the way we came in. Can't rotate very fast. There we go. That's the last of them. I admire your optimism. Oh, that's not fun. We're probably gonna just ignore that outlaw drone carrier. <laughs> you know what? Screw it. <laughs> this is probably gonna be bad. We're gonna use an Arc 9000. Yay! I must say, this does change things. Oh, I didn't even get a blueprint. That's unfortunate. I was hoping we would use the Arc 9000 for a blueprint, and uh, that was not the case. All right, story time. Yes, it is, Mr. Knox. Drone carriers will take control of your drones. Reconstructing Cluster 34 would be an enormous task. Logistics for this new frontier were key. Seth Nobu had worked hard to build his business. He had the prestige, the contacts, and he greased every palm along his path. He was soon the biggest weapon supplier around, artfully circumventing the treaties. He had a simple reason for seeking out Adam Roslin again. Demand for illegal human clones. Adam needed some convincing. He had doubts. But in the end, the friendship held, and a deal was struck. Seth Nobu and my original worked on something together. We were partners. Whatever went wrong between you two, he obviously maintains a grudge. It would be preferable if you got to the root of the disagreement so he can stop shooting at us. I have a feeling there's more to follow. You're right. Oh. Ow! That mine was a jerk. Alright. Hello, Triangle Leaf. Glad to have you join. Just playing some version 1.0, checking out the story bits. We're trying to complete a one and done run, uh, meaning it's run number one, trying to get through the first bit of the story. And I say first bit because you cannot complete the entire story in just one run. No, it triggers more to do after you complete the first run. In the best way possible, by the way. Oh, I forgot they have teleporters. Alright, there we go. Oh. Okay. These outlaw bombers are tricky when you don't have energy or a decent weapon. And uh, I don't consider the flat cannon a decent weapon one-on-one, -on -one, especially one-on-one. -on -one, because they just don't do a lot of damage. Oh my gosh. Okay. We're in a little bit of a bind. We're okay. Tempting. What else do we have available? Man, we we have not gotten like any any blueprints. That's okay. I will not be denied. All right. Okay, hiding spot. Whew. Oh. Here we go. A 
Low health. Psh, I still have 50%. That was exciting. Yay, splash damage. Alright. Let's see. Looks like this is a wreck that the outlaws decided to retrofit with some new weaponry. Straight into the account. That container just hit us! What a jerk! Alright. Oh, that's real tempting. That's real tempting. We're gonna have to get rid of it though. Some more scrap. Yes, it can be hard to obtain access keys. I've been pretty fortunate. I've actually collected Oh, another Arc 9000. What a good run. This is great. Oh my goodness. But yes, access keys, there's a... Uh, actually, I'm going to pause really quick to explain access keys. This is a unique drop in the sense that you can only obtain it from three specific locations. So the first way is through obtaining a particular perk, which um, allows for bonus equipment before the start of the run and the access key can actually populate as one of those bonus equipment items to start off with. And it can even show up in pairs of two. So at the start of the game, if you have that particular perk, you can immediately begin with two access keys. The second method of obtaining access keys is through traders and service stations, which will have them either as a credit value or a tra trade for a bit of resources in order to obtain. And they usually only sell one, if I recall correctly. I'm, they might be able to sell two at a time. I'm, I'm not sure. So, uh, so there's that. And then the final way, which is the most common way to obtain them, is by encountering and engaging the elite fighters and carriers that you encounter, and all of them have a 40% chance to drop an access key. And so far in this run, in um, I would probably say about three out of four of the elites that we've combated, we've been given an access key. It's It's been pretty generous to us, pretty nice. Yes, I, I think I have picked up four, that's right, Mr. Knox. Oh, you ran out of fuel in Sector 2, Triangle Leaf? That stinks! Yeah, I've been, uh, I'm really cautious about my fuel. Oh, story time. Hey there, do you need some supplies? Hmm? Who are you? I'm just a friend. Make good use of the things I left you. We'll meet again soon. Thanks, but why are you helping me? I'm in a good mood today. Look, just be thankful of some random support when you can get it, okay? And she probably dropped me another arc. Yep. I think she's tasked to. It's yes, automatic. Nanobots. Uh, let's she see. Jumped away. Well, oh, there's no reason to complain, but it's strange all the same. We are intentionally leaving that arc right there so that we can use the one we have um, because there's a jump suppressor and I want to ensure that we can disable it. Now you can't destroy jump suppressors. Um, let's see, where is it though? Is it over here? I think it's over here. Death. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? <laughs> okay, out of energy. Not good. We're gonna take a little bit of damage here. Wow, we dodged that missile. Alright. Okay, jump suppressor, where are you? Are you over there? I think you're over here. All the turrets! Throw away turrets. I'm gonna fly through this cannon when we're done with the jump suppressor. Ow! Oh, there's the jump suppressor. Uh, 
Okay. Over here, real quick, like you're drawing fire. Fuel, not a lot of fuel, but can't complain. Actually, yep, uh, that was more than a little bit, so all right. Of course, we used all our energy to boost. <laughs> there we go. Alright, what else do we got? Probably want to go back and get that Arc 9000, I think, because we're probably just going to leave this area. And it's a long way away. So there's nothing else, I think, of crazy importance. Oh, Freighter Egg. Duh, she is on. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I'm. One of the main reasons I'm doing this stream is just to give this game more exposure, because this is an incredible game. So, for all of you in chat, if you know of anyone that you think would even be remotely interested in this game, I implore you to share this stream right now, just so that I might be able to give them a little bit of information about the game. That's what I'm seeking to do here, it's just being informative, having a conversation with you guys, hanging out, and just helping you have a better sense of what is Everspace? Oh, you have a front shield generator? I'll shoot your butt then. Scrap, nah. Scrap, nah. Arc 9000. Alright. Get there, city! I completely agree, 100%. And also, I mean, so Shuzan and I, like, even though we know the developers pretty well, like, I don't want you all to think that we're, like, here promoting and advertising all types of stuff because we have to. That's, no, that's not even remotely close. We're doing this because of our sheer love for this game. Like, the fine folks at Rockfish Games have done a remarkable job on this indie title. It, it is one of the best Six Degrees of Freedom games that I have played period. Like, it sincerely is. And it's an arcade, fast-paced roguelike. So please, tell your friends about this game. Like, this is a remarkable experience. Lore time. Maybe. This thing is massive. There we go. What is it? These must be the ruins of the ancients. A long-lost civilization. Although the information I have on them is very limited. Just... Tell me what you know. They were believed to be higher beings, distantly related to and revered by the Oka. They ruled over a powerful and far-reaching empire, yet they mysteriously vanished from historical record some millennia ago. Interesting. Perhaps I should explore this a little deeper. What is this? It seems abandoned. All right, it's time to go confront an ancient. Are these ancients? I cannot confirm this as I have no data. Oh, they can also be some kind this of might be bad. We might have to use our arc. I don't need a C to shoot you. Okay. Gonna get a little bit of energy back. Oh, please don't die. That would stink. Alright. Need more energy. This is blah, 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 blah. Gonna use some nanobots. Not gonna take this risk. Come on! Oh! What's happening? Okay. Alright, it created a black hole. But we did a good job. Whew. Okay. Oh gosh. Alright, we're okay. 
I'm just gonna wait for the black hole to collapse. And we're just gonna navigate carefully inside with this wispy orange glow. Boom! What is going on here? Yeah! Looks gorgeous. Ancient structures glyph. Okay, so we have two options. We can jump forward, which will likely put us in Sector 6, or we can progress normally and exit the structure and go to that beacon. But because we want to showcase the story, this is what we're doing. It's about to get really difficult, guys. This should be story time. Oh! It was only a matter of time before their illegal cloning venture was uncovered. The colonial authorities apprehended them during a raid. They were resigned to see out their days on a penal base. But there was one in the High Command with different plans for them. Colonial Fleet Admiral Kryn Gork. He offered amnesty in return for their cooperation on a covert project. He needed Seth's facilities and Adam's expertise for decrypting the Yokar genome. And he wanted it done in secret. The offer was preferable to a prison moon. Oh, snap. Tell me more, clone. I had another vision. Maybe more clues. There was a high-ranking colonial commander. Do you recall the name? He was an admiral by the name of Gork. Yes. Kringork is a rather powerful figure in the fleet. Okay, so the plot thickens. Oh, snap. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Mark 9000. Okay, the reason we use that there is because we were compromised. There were there were drones that were locking us in place. That was an elite fighter with more drones. I couldn't risk it. There's a few of them. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Okay. Let's see, is this where it's at? I'm looking for a glow. I don't see a glow over there. There's the glow. See that in there? That's what I'm looking for. All right, let's get past some of these things. We're gonna get ourselves a subroutine. Um, so Derek Young, um, yes, there there is a reason for destroying those ancients. If um, Hopefully I didn't play it too quickly there. Um, but essentially, um, oh, look at all these things. Ooh, we're doing the energy discharger. That's going to save us in future predicaments. Oh, we're not going to get that other container in there. Um, oh, we do have an access key. And we're going to leave it alone. We're going to save our access key for something maybe later. Um, but yeah, those those ancients, whenever you destroy them, it gives you like that orange wispy glow, and you have to fly into the ancient structures, um, and it triggers the glyph in the middle so that you can uh, obtain that for all future runs. Oh my gosh, another elite. Wow, we're going to wait for our energy to come back up, and then we're going to surprise them with a little treat. Energy discharge, are ready? Wow. What a kick. Don't get too comfortable with it. It has a long recharge. Okay. Another access key. Excellent. So, good thing about the um, flat cannon here is that the splash damage actually damages around that shield that they use. So you can at least hit them to prevent them from recharging their shields. Um, at the very least. So yeah. 
Excellent. Okay, so now we have another access key. Woo! Um, but yeah, once you find your first ancient structure, it always spawns in Sector 4, by the way. And it always gives you the ancient structure's glyph first. Oh my goodness. Another... Oh my goodness. Even... Alright. Hang on a second. Alright. Come on, Okar. Accidentally shoot me. Oh, maybe they're... Oh, this is a three-way battle. Excellent. Elite Auker Interceptor. That's one of the most dangerous ships in the game. And now they are fighting the GMB, which is great. We are going to try and take this guy out because access keys... No access key. But was that an arc? No, it's adaptive. <coughs> oh. Alright. Jump into the next area. <sighs> I think this is also going to trigger another story cutscene, I think. Maybe, maybe not. We're going to find out real quick. Nope. Okay. Oh, yep. It is. Hey, what's going on? The ship has been immobilized and is being pulled out of hyperspace. Adam, I found you again. Seth, wait. I'm beginning to recollect. Oh, really? Good for you. So what is your plan? Where are you going? I don't know exactly. I have coordinates, that's all. I'm trying to find some answers. Believe me, I want to know what this is all about just as much as you do. Wait. Interesting. Coordinates. I knew it. You're a clone. I'm talking to a meat bag. Oh, Adam, what have you done? I'll let you go for now. Try not to cross me again, clone. Well, that was a bizarre conversation. What does it mean? It appears that you have some history with this individual. Perhaps there is some unfinished business. But we have our mission to fulfill. Shall we carry on? Or theorize endlessly? All right. Um, Res Instance, having the scanning probes removed was an amazing feature. I actually talked about that earlier in the stream. Um, it, it's, it's a fundamental change so that... Oh, story time. <coughs> Excuse me. Adam Roslin succeeded in decrypting the Okar genome. The Admiral was satisfied with the work they had done. Now he could progress to the next stage of his plans. Using the decrypted genome, he wanted to create a brigade of Okar clones to incite fresh conflict between the races. With a new war, he could finally defeat the Okar and establish colonial supremacy in the cluster. The Admiral offered them a part in his scheme, with all its privileges for their ongoing cooperation. Seth Nobu accepted the offer. Adam Rosslyn would not stand for reviving a war. He refused to take any part in it. But the Admiral had more crude methods of persuasion. Injecting Rosslyn with a controlled cytotoxin. Rosslyn was given no choice but to comply. Nobu made no objection. His interests were clear. I saw that Admiral again. Another piece of the puzzle. My original was forced to work on an illegal cloning program. He refused out of principle. So Adam Rosalind did not carry out the task. It seems they put him in a compromising position. They poisoned him. That's all I remember. These flashbacks, like scraps of being, are difficult for me to understand. I dwell more in the interconnectedness of things. <laughs> 
This big boy looks dangerous. An Okar Corvette. It is indeed most very likely to be hazardous to your general well-being. There we go. That wasn't as good as I thought it would be. Oh boy. Gathering the loot, gathering the loot. Get out of your Aqua Core that I don't need you. Alright. Perfect. Getting a couple blueprints. They're onto me. Alright, one more heavy missile. We got a Mach 2. Don't mind if I do. And some light missiles. We are getting low on some resources. Was That's invigorating. An life form. What is it? Wait. Curiously, I have no data about it. Uh oh. Where's the gray goo? Oh, it's right there. Oh, oh. All right. Yeah, that was our first first ship color. I think uh, maybe that uh, the blueprints drop rate has been reduced. Um, all the permanent unlockables has been reduced. Normally in a single run I I can gather about 20 or so unlockables, but even at this stage in the game, I mean, we're in Sector 5, and I feel like I've only got like 5 maybe, if that even. So, it's interesting. One change that I was not expecting. But it's fine. You're gonna keep those... Credits are nearly numbers to me. Oh, let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in, no, 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 no. Grey Goo, go away. Go away, Grey Goo. We're not friends. I didn't invite you to the party. You may say yourself out. Ooh. That could have been a game ender right there <laughs> if I got too close. Woo. Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. Okay. I don't believe Grey Goo can come in here, so we should be good from this moment. Just don't destroy the um, shield generators. Hmm. Less energy, more damage. Ooh. 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 It's too expensive. It's too expensive. Let's see, which one's better? This one's better. This one does more shield, but it costs a lot more energy, so nope, we're gonna salvage that one. Alright. That was it? Alright, that was it. Woo! Commander Robinus! Welcome! I am trying to do my best to make it through this very first run. I'm running out of time though. I've only got about 20 minutes left. We might start kicking it into crazy speedrun mode because I really want to get to the very end of this. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure if we're going to have the time to do so. I hope we do. I really, I'm really hoping for it. If, if we don't, I am streaming again tonight. It's going to be 12 hours from now. Well, actually about 10 hours from now. Um, to showcase the rest of the story, as well as some uh, really cool items if we don't get to them in this particular stream. Oh, I'm so glad that we have this flat cannon. Watch this. This is just going to be fireworks. 
Pop, pop. Oh, isn't that great? Don't even have to worry about a single one of them. Okay, so we got some compound. Oh, yes, the gray goo can be destroyed. Um, it can also be really dangerous to assault, though. If you're not careful, um, they will shoot a mass of nanobots at you, and they will just eat your hole away, like, real fast. So you have to be kind of mindful as to what you're using to destroy them, or let somebody else do the work for you. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. What do we got? There we go. Get all the fuel. That's perfect for trying to get through this as quickly as possible. Got some Okar fighters. Filled up on nanobots. How are we doing on gas? Where's our gas? We have a lot of gas. We are healthy. We have eaten our beans. We're just going to jump out here. This is probably not going to be the best credit scoring run. We're only at 26k, but that's, that's going to be fine enough because we can purchase both of the new ships when we're done with this run. So we're just going to emphasize speeding through now for you, for the fine folks watching. A jump suppressor is active nearby. That's of course. Not good. Well, do something about it. Find it and disable it. It's gonna be the higher the signal strength, the closer you are. Might be a little difficult to find it in this area. We're getting strangely closer, though. Nope, further away. Where are you? Uh, getting closer, getting closer. Oh, I think we found it. Yeah, this energy discharger was a bad choice to pick up, just because there's not a lot to, um, not a lot of ways to utilize it fully. Unfortunately. You know what? Have a corrosion missile. That should be good enough. Take out your buddy. So corrosion missiles deal damage over time, so I reduced the Mach Mark II Outlaw just enough to where to the uh, rest of that corrosion missile would finish him off, so that's why he's no longer attacking me. Corrosion missiles are dandy. Ooh, my goodness. Okay. Careful, SpongeBob. Careful, SpongeBob. Careful, SpongeBob. I'm just going to get this, and we're going to jump out of here. Not gonna deal with even navigating out of these mines. Actually, let's do this. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> I liked that. That was fun. <laughs> Will there be more ships available in the future besides the basic three? Now, when you say in the future, um, do you mean DLC? Because yes. At least I think I can say that. Oops. No. Crap. <laughs> um, yes, there's going to be future ships. They're actually in the works right now. Um, I'm pretty sure the developers have stated this, so hopefully I'm not overstepping my bounds and telling you all that. Um, yeah, no, no, it's in, the ki it's in the Kickstarter. So the Kickstarter update actually talks about how they're working on future ships. So, yeah, I did not overspeak. Um, so if you're not familiar with the Kickstarter um, updates, I highly recommend checking out... Um, uh, let me gather my thoughts. Um, it's actually just Google search Kickstarter Everspace. It'll take you to their site. And then there's like an update location where when you go to, you can read the entire development from the very first update to update 33, I think it is. And they do talk about um, including not only new playable ships, but new enemy ships, new challenges, stuff of that nature. I'm really looking forward to it. I, like, oh my gosh, I just, I love this game <laughs> so much. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. Missile, go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. All right.
Apparently missiles don't have ears because they don't listen. There you are. Man, still no, like, still not a lot of drops going on. This, ah. Okay, if I wanted to build missiles, I need more. Oh my gosh, I'm low on ore. Of all the things to be low on in this game, I am low on ore. Ore is a very bountiful resource, especially in the early game. Hopefully we'll be able to find a little bit more of it. Oh. <coughs> Alright. Should I take on the drone carrier or GTFO? What is? What are your guys' thoughts? This is not going to work, by the way. This does not work on drone carriers. It kind of sounds like it would, but the drone carrier has a drone override, so they will make my life painful if I use that. Oh, excellent res instance. Okay. Yeah, um, the developers are actually... Uh, actually, I haven't heard anything else about that. Um, but yeah, regarding if you're taking damage, if you're using a booster, stuff like that, having the glow around the edge, I know what you're talking about. Um, and I actually kind of think it's a little distracting as well. Um, I don't see any individuals talking about the drone carrier, so we're just going to... Oh, you know what? We're going to take on the Aqua Corvette, though. I think we can do this relatively easy, especially with some corrosion missiles. Uh, somebody else is shooting at us. That's not fun. Who's shooting at us? Okay. Nanobots! Yay! We didn't need them. Low on energy. Alright, let's see if drop this, use energy. Get our drone override back. We are doing a little bit of dodging tactics, which is why he seems like he has a really terrible shot. It's, it's actually because I have MLG Pro moves. <laughs> Not really. But um, but what I am doing, I am moving around this battlefield. I'm moving up, down, left, and right um, so that he can't really quite get a full lock on me. Almost there. Just a few more seconds. Hey, another blueprint. Got some missiles. That's nice. Here. Ouch. Well done. Let's get some plasma. Nanos. Yeah, strafe is really good. It actually has been adjusted considerably, Mr. Knox. Um, the the strafe um, used to move the player just a little bit, and then a bunch of people during the beta, during the alpha, one of the two really complained about it, and they're like, I can't do anything with this, it's not good enough. So the devs were like, okay, lol, here you go, and uh, made it real good-like. Um, we're going to go destroy this carrier really quick. Pop your drones. Oops. A key ship component is damaged. It is recommended you fix it before your next encounter. That was totally my bad. Um, kids, when you fire a major weapon of mass destruction, keep your distance. <laughs> Thankfully, that didn't kill us. <laughs> Goodness gravy. Yes, they sounded exactly like that, Mr. Knox. As a forum moderator, I could speak for all the voices. 
No, but seriously, um, it did need a little bit of an adjustment because whenever you did do this type of movement, it was very minor. Like, I'm talking super minor, and it did need a bit of a boost. So, with a bit of skill, it is possible on the very first run as you're watching here that your dodging abilities paired with a little bit of boosting can prove to be pretty effective. All right, story time. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Now story time. Betrayed by Seth Nobu. Adam Rosslin worked under guard in his captor's laboratory. The cytotoxin was killing him slowly. The Admiral held the antidote. Rosslin's only options were work or die. But he devised his own solution to the problem. Copying all incriminating data and destroying the research, he made his move. He needed to find a cure. So he fled to somewhere he had worked before. A secret lab in the demilitarized zone. Tell me more. Another memory came to me. I saw Adam Rosslin's escape. So he did not succumb to the poison? He was suffering from it, at least. He made it to a hidden lab. Our destination, perhaps. We are near to discovering that. The coordinates point to a system only one sector away. The whole story is within our reach. Let's get this over with. Well, this is going to sound really unfortunate, but my time is very limited with the stream. So I don't think we're actually going to get to the end in this one. But uh, again, I do want to put emphasis on the fact I will be streaming again this evening. Um, I'll post a I'll post a link in the description or something so that you can all get to it. Um, but yeah, I'll try and I'll try and get through here real quick. Like I wanted to get these tech containers. Oh, I should have used that. Oh, I didn't mean to salvage that drone. That would have been huge for exploration. Oh, goodness, that was a terrible move. Trying to speed run and making decisions too quickly. All right. Yes, Rez, you seem to have picked up on it. Um, but yeah. Adam fled to a secret base. We've, we've got coordinates. There seems to be a connection. A jump suppressor. Of course there's a jump suppressor. Hopefully it's over here next to the comm hub. That would be real convenient. Um, I want to talk briefly about the hazard we're experiencing here. There's lightning storm all over the place as well as two elites. We're going to lure them into these minefields. Hopefully. Oh, boy. All right. Give me your drones. Time to turn the tables. those nanobots. Why don't you just blow up? Got a little bit of a distance. No, 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 no. More energy. Use it. Get here, GMB. 
Get here faster! Oh my gosh! Don't end now! Come on! Come on, come on, come on. All right. Whew. Well, that was exciting. Let's get out of here. Fuel. Take that first. Oh, we have to get the arc. And of course, I salvage it on accident. Oh, uh, whatever. We didn't need it. Uh, hopefully, that's not going to hurt us by changing our shield up, but um, it should give us more defenses. Okay, none of that is within a derelict, so we're going to keep going. Woo! No, quit shooting at me. I have to gauge. Alright, we're changing this over to a shield disruptor. That's going to be far more useful in the situations we've been encountering. So the shield disruptor, it basically removes the shields of your foe immediately. Um, and for a short duration. I don't know how we're still alive. But we're still alive. Alright, this is the last area that I'm going to be exploring. And we'll have to cut the stream off at that point in time. Whoa, I can't see a thing. We have entered a dark nebula field. Residual light from surrounding stars is filtered out by the phenomenon. That's a black hole. No, 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 no. Oh. You can disable his shields. Destroy him quickly before his shields come back up! Oh, barely made that. Okay. Oh, that's still a black hole. Outlaws, go away. That's a lot of mines. There you go. Need to find a way to enter this place. Oh my gosh. I wish these outlaws would leave me alone. Oh, not good. Ooh, still have the repair option though. door over here that I missed? There is! Oh my goodness. Let me in, let me in, let me in, in, in. Oh, alright. No, wait, don't open the doors for them. Alright, there we go. Okay, so there wasn't anything else in here. It was just a couple little items. 
which are good items, don't get me wrong, uh, just at this juncture. There's not a lot we could do with that. Alright, so we're low on ore. We're going to have to find ways to get more ore, but otherwise... Oh, we're jumping suppressed. We have to go get that jump suppression. Uh, is it over here somewhere? Looks like we're getting closer. further away over here. Getting closer again. Oh boy. Oh, that's not good at all. Okay, alright. So, we need this. We need another one. We're gonna craft... We just blew up! We just blew up! We're at zero. But we can repair our weapons. Dang it! Ah. Oh. Boom. Well, that's most unfortunate. We got stuck by those Weber drones. There were some shotgun blasts and heavy missiles barraging us. Wasn't any way to get out of there. That was pretty brutal. But hey, I'm glad to go down with a pretty good fight. I'm happy with that. So here's some new features of the ending. The sector bonus gives you 800 in normal mode um, times how many sectors you've explored. Um, so the first sector doesn't give you any. So since we went to sector 6, we get 5 times 800. Then all the loot we collected. And it gives you the kills and the sector distance as your... Um, know details so we unlocked loadout B by getting to sector 4 these are the two new enhancements we got we got the glyph from the ancient structure and we got the armor boom and subroutine from a colonial derelict station and these are the new blueprints that we acquired but we're not done yet no, we're not done yet because when we go to the hangar I want to show you very briefly some Kickstarter rewards all right so check out these beauties Backer rewards. As a backer, you just received the following. Another extra 5,000 credit boost. And then I was given three free blueprints. These blueprints are uh, Tier 1, Tier 2, and Tier 3, respectively. As well as a special ship style and another enhancement. So let's go check out what that means. We know that there's perks and upgrades available. This is the core function of this game. When you complete a run, look at that credit total on the first one. That's just dandy. So here are your perks. You want to upgrade these as you play along. Um, there are two other ships. We are going to buy them immediately. Pop this one. We now have the scout. Pop this one. We now have the gunship. So we have all three available ships. We are also going to maximize our credit loot bonus so we can get more credits. Get that up to 10, so now it's 30% more credits in every successive run. That feels great. The next thing I want to do is probably upgrade my sensor scanner, which we can get the full first upgrade in chunks. Just like that. And I like to get the pilot perks first because it provides a bonus to all successful runs regardless of what ship we're going to play as because we're probably going to play as the scout next. Peter, hey, come here. Sorry, my dog is barking. Sit. I know the stream is over. I'm just going through a couple details really quick. All right. Um, I'm also going to... Let's see. We're actually going to boost trading uh, up to five. We can't get the full boat boost, but we're going to dump credits there. The last thing I want to show, this is very important, there's a loadout option here. Um, oops, wrong ship. So here, because we unlocked layout B, we can have this starting loadout instead. And finally, what everybody's probably been waiting for, uh, the bonus enhancement is called sensor jamming. You get this as a Kickstarter backer at a certain tier. It's very difficult or excuse me, it's very difficult. This is very exclusive. There are very few people who have this. Peter, come here. Come here. Very few people who have this unlocked. 
Um, it reduces enemy sensor range by 10, so you have a bit more flexibility, especially in those later areas. I probably could have capitalized on this um, to prevent me being barraged to death. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not a game changer, but it's a nice to have uh, as a Kickstarter backer. The other uh, items to uh, talk about as a Kickstarter backer, we already talked about the Pulse Laser KS for Kickstarter. Just a little incremental boost to the standard Pulse Laser and gives it a new skin so it shoots green instead of blue. Your range is 300 meters greater and your energy consumption is 0.67 per second less, which means you can fire it a lot longer. We just showed off the enhancement and there's a new skin. This is the Kickstarter exclusive roguelike skin that is available only to 207 people who unlocked this tier in the Kickstarter. That is the epitome of exclusive. Very, very few people have this skin. I know that the developers have talked already about adding new skins to the game, so you'll see that in future downloadable content. Um, oh, actually, I should also point out that this skin is for all ships. It's a little different. I really like the look on the scout myself. It looks pretty great. And last one on the gunship. Oh, yeah. That is flying with style right there. And this is the Rockfish Games logo. You can see on the wings. So we'll be we'll be having a lot of fun with, with these in our stream later tonight. We'll be flying around with that adaptation. We've already purchased our perks, so we're ready to go into the next one. So thank you all so much for joining me for this stream, showcasing a little bit of 1.0 has to offer. We didn't quite get through the story. That was our goal, but have no fear. We will kick this thing in the butt when we return in approximately 10 hours from now. I love you so much. Thank you for being with me. So stick around, subscribe, like the video if you enjoyed it, and we'll have another run tonight. I will talk to you all later. Toodles.